Mm, that's tasty. Um, what's going on, guys? Matty Ice here from Convicted Vapes, coming back at you for another quality hardware review. How's everyone doing tonight? It's late right now. It's like 12 o'clock at night. Um, but I'm just chilling, vaping, doing some reviews, so I'm going to hang out with you for a little while. Um, I'm going to be doing a, <clears throat> a review on a, uh, a new tube mod by JD Tech. As you know, I don't know if you guys watched it, but I just reviewed the new box mod they did, the new version of the um, Dos Equis, the Dual X, the Dos Equis Reborn. Wasn't too happy with it. Um, definitely wasn't worth the price they were asking. But he also sent me this for free. This is the uh, Tomahawk X tube mod by JD Tech. It's a hybrid single battery tube mod. Obviously, it's single battery. <clears throat> I'm tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's fully mechanical, of course, um, and supposedly this is the smallest, the smallest full mech tube on the market, period. Um, I think they might be right about that, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he's, uh, JD Tech sent me this for free to review. Uh, I didn't pay for it. That won't change my opinion of the device. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Let me drip some more <clears throat> juice in here and rip this thing again real quick. But uh, these were very limited. There was only 500 pieces made. And uh, from what I see online, most of them went to Europe. Um very few of them made it to the United States. I couldn't even find an American website online that sold these things. Could not find it. Um, I searched. I typed in every. <clears throat> I typed in you know the name of the mod every which way you could type it in on Google, and nothing would come up besides like European distributors. Um, there is an American distributor, but you can only buy it wholesale, and they're out of stock on that site. But I found it in stock. Um, on a European website. Um, so let me um, let me read you a description of this tube mod. She looks fucking cool with the uh, it's Jesus Christ. It's like you can't even see the seam, but this black uh, Apocalypse RDA looks badass on top of this Tomahawk X. I also got a Mike Whisker drip tip on here. Check them out on Facebook. Hit up Mike Whisker. Um, from Whisker Drip Tips, if you want some pretty damn cool fucking custom drip tips. Uh, he sent me a couple of them, and I love them. But um, he could do all types of stuff. Wide bore, small bore, 510, you know, goon tips, twisted messes tips, whatever, whatever you, Kennedy tips, whatever you want. But anyway, I'm going to read you a description. I'm going to give you a price. Um, uh, I'm going to tell you where you could get this thing. It says in stock. I'm going to tell you the color options. Then I'm going to take the camera down and I'm going to show you guys the close-ups. I'm going to break the whole mod apart, show you the internals, show you exactly what's going on with this thing. Then uh, I'll take the camera back up and we'll, you know I'll give you my honest opinion about this device. But uh, for now... fucking so tiny it's crazy this thing is just miniature but anyway <clears throat> let me read you a description off of a website and uh the website's a little strange this is a european website um let me see here Basically, the description, first of all, the colors it says it's available in, I know they, they made this black one, and they made like an, like, almost like an army green, but on the website it says, as your color options, black and copper, um, which is strange, because this is, there, this is black with a copper sleeve on the inside. This thing is very interesting, the way it's set up, the internals, it's, it's different, I haven't seen anything like it, um. I'll show you that in the close-ups, but yeah, on the website, the picture is this black version, and then there's like an army, like a dark army green, like almost like an olive drab. So, uh, those are your two color options, and what it says here, as far as a description, 
Tomahawk X by JD Tech, full mech tube, 18650 battery configuration, smallest tube mod on the market. It's 71 millimeters tall. So I haven't seen anything smaller than this. This is the smallest tube mod I've ever seen. Um, it's 24 millimeter in diameter, so it's going to look sick with your Apocalypse, your 24 millimeter Goon, your 24 millimeter Twisted Messes. Any 24 millimeter RDA is going to look great on this. Um, and the 22 millimeter doesn't look bad either. It doesn't sit flush, but it doesn't look bad. Um, copper and aluminum body. So the outer sleeve is anodized black aluminum, black anodized aluminum. And there's a copper sleeve on the inside that your battery sits in. I'll show you in the close-ups. But um, this is going for $210 American on this website. I believe it's 190 euros. Let me double-check the price here. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be 190 euros on this website. Um, it's either euros or pounds I don't know I forget the sign for pounds and euros I, I don't know if it's the same thing I don't think it is but um, see I know it's $210 American I know that but I, I couldn't find it on any American websites Not no, I mean like no one has this thing it's limited like I said there's only 500 pieces so I'm sure if you search the internet um, far and wide or talk to some people and do some researching you could find one of these things because I doubt all 500 of them sold already I'm sure there's some sitting in a shop I know this they're in stock on this website the website is called phileas cloud phileas cloud.com I'll post the link in the description for this website so you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, let's take the camera down and I'll break this thing down, show you how to take it apart, show you how it works, and show you all the close-ups on everything, all right? Sit tight. <clears throat> all right, guys, we are up close with the Tomahawk X tube mod by JD Tech, the smallest fully mech tube mod, 18650 tube mod on the market. Here's the packaging. Very common. Um, you see this with the Filipino mods. Now, funny thing, I'm saying Filipino. JD Tech is a Filipino company, and they were producing all the mods in the Philippines, but from what I'm hearing now, um, JD Tech is now being made in America. All the research and development is still going on in the Philippines, so I guess they make the prototypes in the Philippines, and then once they have it down, um, there's a new uh, manufacturer they have in the United States manufacturing them. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know how true it is, but I'm hearing they're made in the USA now, which is pretty fucking cool if that's the case, that the Philippines is outsourcing to the United States. Kind of strange, but... That's what's going on here, but very common packaging you see with the Filipino mods, that fake reptile skin. We open it up. Inside we have a nice felt cushioned box with the tube mod in there, and there's no certificate of authenticity, which was kind of strange. Obviously it's not a clone because JD Tech sent it to me directly. Obviously it's not a clone, but um, no certificate of authenticity. <clears throat> the certificate of authenticity is kind of the packaging. To be honest with you, not that China couldn't wouldn't be able to clone this box because they could, but yeah. And inside, let me put this to the side. Here is the Tomahawk X tube mod by JD Tech. Look how tiny, guys! It's the size of my. No, I know what you're thinking. You got a dirty mind. That's not what I was talking about. It's the size of my finger. <laughs> Yes, it does say evil 13 and a half on my fingers. If you guys are wondering what that means, i got to get this touched up. But 12 jurors, one judge, and a half a chance. <laughs> anyway, some useless information there for you guys. But uh, very nice tube, very nicely machined. You can see it's a hybrid connection on the top. And you can see there's a magnet 
where the battery vent holes would usually be. This is number one of 500. Pretty cool of them to send me number one. I really dig that. Gotta love those number ones, guys. But um, this is black anodized aluminum, this outer shell. And you can see, since he blocked off the battery vent holes with a magnet on the hybrid top cap, you could just use them to get something in there to spin it off. <clears throat> the battery vent holes are actually on the sides of the tube. You can see there's three little battery vent holes in the aluminum. And then there's three more on the other side. We come around to the other side and we have the JD Tech logo. JD Tech and Tomahawk Mods are basically the same company. So this is the Tomahawk Mods logo. I guess Tomahawk Mods is like JD Tech's sister company. Sort of like Gibson has Epiphone. And ESP has LTD. I'm talking about guitars for you guys that didn't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Very simple on the outside. This is silver plated, this bottom section. I believe... I. From what he from what he made it sound like this this all the contacts are silver plated copper, which I'll show you in a second. But we have that nice bottom button with the JD Tech logo with the J and the D and the gears. And you could unscrew this thing from the top. I'll show you all the pieces here. It's pretty. This is a pretty interesting tube mod. I really haven't seen anything like it. It's really, it's actually really really neat the way he made this thing. There is um, one setback to this thing that I'll show you, which isn't really that big of a deal, but it could be an issue for some people if they don't know what they're doing. So here's the hybrid top cap, nice chunk of copper, and then there's a magnet in the hybrid top cap inside the copper, and there's a reason for that. There's also a magnet here. Now this comes out. like that so there's n there's no springs this is a magnet button but it works from the top how it, i'm going to take this whole thing apart show you all the pieces and then i'll show you exactly how it works because it's a magnet button but the magnet is in the top not on the bottom with the button so we unscrew this bottom section comes out just like this And there is your negative contact down there. That's silver-plated copper. And it's a copper sleeve. The whole entire button is a copper sleeve. Alright, my camera's being a dickhead. But anyway, so this sleeve, and you can see there's also... A sleeve on the inside. The whole inside of the mod is um, press-fitted with copper. See it? The whole inner tube is actually copper. So all the connections, like the ground connection, is flowing through the copper, not the aluminum. So you're getting the same. You're getting all the advantages of um, con copper conductivity with this tube, even though the outer sleeve is anodized, black anodized aluminum. You're getting all the advantages of a copper tube with this thing, and that's press fitted in there. I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to damage it. But there's the tube section. Now, here is your fire button, which is actually 
I believe it's stainless steel coated in black, I think. It's weird how he did it because you got that contact down there, which is absolutely silver-plated copper, so you could polish that up. And then it looks like there's a plate on top of the copper that makes up this black fire button. I'm not sure what the material is made out of. I'm guessing stainless, possibly silver. It might be connected to that contact in there. I'm not going to push it out because it's fitted in there. And then here was the sleeve that sits in the top of the tube like that. And that magnet works against the magnet in your hybrid top cap, as you can see. So, how this works is, when your battery is inside of this tube, the battery sits inside that top piece like this. And your RDA goes directly on, you know, touches the battery through the hybrid top cap. And the fire button that's inside the tube sits on the other end of the battery like this. And then the ins the inner copper tube is taking up the rest of the, you know, the rest of the battery. So basically this fire button section and this top section slide up and down. inside the tube so your battery is actually sliding through this copper when you hit the button I'll show you I'll put the bottom button assembly together See the entire battery sliding up and down, and it's not going to push down on its own. The magnet in the top, when you hit that fire button in, it pushes up to the 510 pin on your atomizer, makes contact, and fires it. And then the reverse polarity of these two magnets push the battery back down when you let go of the button. See, the button's going to stay in. See how the button's staying in? But if I put on the hybrid 510 connection, the top cap, now when I hit this button, that magnet is pushing back down. And that's how this thing works. So it's a magnet, it's a magnetized fire button, but it's it's actually the, the magnets are in the top cap, which is pretty neat. This is a it's a very different setup. Now the only setback to this is that, let me show you what's going on here. This copper fire button and this little sleeve that moves up and down is sliding on the body of this fire button housing. It's sliding up and down. So if your copper patinas, you can see how it's scratched up from sliding up and down, which is fine. As long as it's clean, it's sliding smooth. See it? But if this copper gets dirty, if you let it get dirty and patina, it's going to jam up in here and your fire button's going to stick when you push it in and it's going to, it's going to keep firing the mod. So you want to make sure that you have a nice polishing cloth. I recommend going on Amazon and getting um, <clears throat> getting some of these jewelry polishing cloths and keeping the co copper nice and smooth and shiny. You could find these cloths on Amazon. I forget what they're called, but they're like ten for. 10 like a dollar a piece or something if you buy 10 of them something cheap 
So you got to keep that copper clean. And also the top section is sliding up and down too. That piece in there, it's copper sliding against copper. So this, the sidewalls of this piece right here are sliding up and down inside this copper. So it's making friction and if it's dirty, it'll, it'll jam up. So you got to make sure that you keep that copper nice and clean so it slides smoothly in there. That's the only setback. If you let this copper patina, if you let it sit for a long time and it gets dirty and you hit that fire button with an Addy on it and a battery inside of it, it's going to stick. You're going to have to unscrew the Addy real quick because it's going to auto fire. Well, not exactly auto fire, but the button will stay in when you push it and it will keep firing until you unscrew the Addy. So you got to keep, the main thing is keep the inner tube clean. Keep that copper on the inside of the tube clean. Just hit it with a polishing cloth. Keep the sides of this top magnet clean. And then keep the sides of this bottom of this fire button clean. Keep all this copper polished and then you shouldn't have any problems. You could even put a little bit of electrical like diode grease on there and, and lube the copper up and it'll just slide really nicely. Even a little tiny drop of 2-in-1 oil or maybe some WD-40 should work, but I would use like diode uh, electric grease, something that improves conductivity and that won't let it corrode. I suggest you put some on the outside of this copper so it'll never bind up in here because that's a lot of surface area rubbing against each other when you hit that button. It's different though. I give them a lot of credit for for doing something different. This is actually really cool. So I'm going to put it all back together. He actually did an excellent job on this tube. I have to say this is one of the nicest tubes I've seen come out. This is this is really different the way he did the internals with the magnet on top with the copper sleeve on the inside. I like to run my battery positive down on this thing. Then you're just going to put this top piece in here. We're going to take an atomizer, in this case, the Black Apocalypse Gen 2 RDA. You're going to screw, make sure you use a you know an atomizer with a protruding 510 pin too, because this is a hybrid connection. Make sure your pin is sticking out of your RDA. We're going to screw that hybrid top cap onto the atomizer and then screw that whole assembly onto the tube mod. This RDA is like meant for this tube. It's funny, it's two different companies, but they go together like bread and butter. I mean, even the engravings on the black apocalypse match, match the engravings on the black tube, I think, because they're both... Uh, the same material I believe they're both anodized aluminum but it looks like they were meant to it looks like it looks like one piece it's fucking gorgeous and that Mike Whisker drip tip on top of there just really sets it off line them up show you what it looks like lined up gorgeous gorgeous tube mod he JD Tech really did do a great job on the uh, on the design and the execution of this tube. I, I love this tube. I haven't put it down since I got it. I was pretty shocked when I took it out of the box at how nice it was. It's a shame he only made 500 of them. Very fucking cool. So let's let's take the camera back up and talk um, a little bit of actually like how it actually vapes. So sit tight. <clears throat> All right, hopefully you enjoyed those close-ups. Um, hopefully it helped you out in understanding on how this tube mod works. Um, <clears throat> I, I I really like this thing. It's It really is beautiful. It's The machining is perfect on it. Like I said, the only setback is that the fact that that copper, those two pieces are rubbing against other material every time you hit the fire button, but it's working for me flawlessly. I just keep the copper clean on the inside, and it... 
action on the fire button is great. I think it's really cool that he did a magnetized button, but did the magnets in the top. Haven't seen that anywhere yet, besides this tube. I think it's cool that he got this. I think that that's how he got the tube so small, because the battery sits right against that button. The battery's right there. There's no contact taking up room in the bottom. It's just, this tube mod is almost the same size of an 18650 battery. It's a little bit bigger. It's like half an inch bigger. It's hard to see with the RDA on there, but the tube itself is almost the same size as an 18650. Very nice how he did this. Now, does it hit hard? It fucking rips. It chucks. This thing chucks the fucking tits, guys. Let me drip a little bit more on here. It's fucking so tiny. I mean, look at the look at the size of this thing. And this is with an Addy on it. Without the Addy on it. It's so it's so tiny. I mean it's definitely a very, very stealthy vape. You could palm this in your hand and no one will even know you have it. Which is pretty sweet. So they de he definitely accomplished. This is definitely the smallest 18650 full mech tube mod I've ever seen. So JD Tech, they pulled it off with this one. They really did. This is this is a home run. Um, I really, really dig this tube mod. This is this is one of the nicest tube mods I've ever seen. Um, honestly. It looks fucking awesome. The design is awesome. The machining is awesome. The whole concept of the thing is awesome. Hits like a fucking truck. Uh, the price is a little expensive. Um, you know, $210 American. Um, would I... Uh, would I pay that for this mod? Yes, I would. It's fucking that cool. Um... For all you tube mod fans, you definitely, definitely should try to get your hands on one of these if you can. I mean, it's you'll you'll love it. You'll love it. Um, would I buy this with my own money um, if I lost or damaged this thing? Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna try to get another one just to put away uh, the number one. I want to be able to put away this number one and just cherish it. Maybe get a you know a higher number that I could actually use, not worry about banging it around a little bit. But um. This thing is great. I'm going to give it a two thumbs up. This is a, it's a flawless tube mod. Hits very nice. The button is very nice. Now, when I got it, the copper was a little patinaed and the button was sticking a little bit. I just polished the copper up and it was fine. It's very, very nice action on this button. Um, I know, you know, $210 is not cheap, especially for a little tube mod, but you know what? You're paying for the fact that you're paying to be able to say that this is the smallest 18650 tube mod on the market. And it, you know, it looks awesome. I think it's well worth $210. I, I would pay it. I'm going to buy another one, so I'm going to pay it. Um, I highly recommend this thing to you tube mod fanatics. I'm going to give it a two thumbs up. JD Tech did do a great job on this tube. They, he really did. He, 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 he definitely earned some cool points in my book. Because after that, that Dos Equis Reborn box, I was a little turned off to, the, to JD Tech. But he really he, uh, he regained my confidence with this tube. This is, this is a badass piece of hardware right here. Two thumbs up. And it hits hard. It's not the hardest hitting tube mod I've ever seen, but it hits fucking hard. There's very little voltage drop on this thing. But anyway, I'm going to end this review. I'm half asleep. This is dragged on long enough. Hopefully you guys get the idea. I haven't put this down since I got it, so there. You, I mean, it's got my seal of approval. Uh, until next time, guys, uh, subscribe, comment, 
uh, you know, leave a comment. I always like to see what you have to say. I appreciate all you guys, too, that comment on my videos. You guys, you know, some of you talk some shit. That's, that's perfectly fine, you know. Some people hate me. That's going to happen. No big deal. I mean, not everyone's going to like you in life. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Most people won't like you. <laughs> but the ones that do make it all worth it. So thank you guys for leaving uh, all the love on the, on the comments. Feel free to comment. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel. Um, check out Convicted Vapes E-Juice. All three flavors are on sale right now. It's like $24 for a 60 mil bottle at VV Vapes. That's V V vapes.com check me out on instagram at the real convicted vapes i'm always posting cool stuff on there uh, sneak peeks of products that i get in my hand that aren't on the channel yet and uh, that's really all i got for you guys Keep calm, vape on, and as always, guys, do I even have to say it anymore? Take it fucking deep, please. Heavy metal.